Cisco UCS Manager Initial Setup Part 2 Configure the subordinate fabric interconnect. This procedure describes setting up the second fabric interconnect using IPv4 or IPv6 addresses for the management port. Connect to the console port. Power on the fabric interconnect. You'll see the power on the self-test message as the fabric interconnect boots. At the installation method prompt, enter GUI. If the system can't access a DHCP server, you're prompted to enter the IPv4 or IPv6 address for the management port on the Fabric Interconnect, the IPv4 subnet mask or IPv6 prefix for the management port on the Fabric Interconnect, and the IPv4 or IPv6 address for the default gateway assigned to the Fabric Interconnect. Note, in a cluster configuration, both Fabric Interconnects must be assigned the same management interface address type during setup. Copy the web link from the prompt into a web browser and go to the Cisco UCS Manager GUI launch page. On the Cisco UCS Manager GUI launch page, select Express Setup. On the Express Setup page, select Initial Setup and click Submit. The Fabric Interconnect should detect the configuration information for the first Fabric Interconnect. In the Cluster and Fabric Setup area, select the Enable Clustering option. For the Fabric Setup option, make sure Fabric B is selected. In the System Setup area, enter the password for the admin account into the admin password of the master field. The Manager Initial Setup area is displayed. The field that is displayed depends on whether you configured the first Fabric Interconnect with an IPv4 or IPv6 management address. Complete the field that is appropriate for your configuration. Peer FI is IPv4 cluster enabled. Please provide local fabric interconnect management 0 IPv4 address field. For this demonstration, we'll use an IPv4 address for the management 0 interface on the local fabric interconnect. Click Submit. A page displays the results of your setup operation.